Good morning, I'm Miss Corinne and welcome to Take Two Tales. Our story today is Three Hens and a Peacock. Well, at the Tucker farm, things were always pretty quiet. The cows just stayed in the pasture, ate grass, chewed their cud. The hens were in the hen house laying eggs and the old hound dog snoozed on the front porch. Yep, things were pretty quiet at the Tucker farm until one day the peacock arrived. Well, the peacock had never been on a farm before and he didn't know what he was supposed to do. So he just started walking around shrieking. <coughs> And he eventually made his way down to the side of the road. And he just walked back and forth by the road. Wow, with his magnificent feathers. Oh boy, every time a car drove past, they stopped to take a picture of that magnificent bird and his incredible feathers. And when they stopped, well, they bought eggs from the Tucker farm and tomatoes and peaches and corn and milk and every day the peacock was out <coughs> by the side of the road and people were coming to take pictures and see the amazing bird and to buy food from the Tucker farm and business was booming everybody was pretty happy about the peacock being there at the Tucker farm everybody except the three hens. The three hens laid eggs all day and they looked out and they saw that peacock just walking around waving his feathers and they did not like it. All he does all day is stand by the side of the road. Anybody can do that. He's just lazy. He just waves those fancy feathers and people are like ooh and ah and what are we doing? We are working. I declare, I have worked so hard and nobody ever stopped to take a picture of me. The three hens were so upset about how everybody made such a big deal about the peacock and he doesn't do any work at all. They complained loudly and the peacock heard them. Oh boy. I knew I didn't know what I was doing when I came here. I'm not helping at all. I'm just standing around doing nothing. I'm useless. <laughs> oh. The peacock was sad and the hens were mad. And the old hound dog could not get a lick of sleep with all of the burp, 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 from the chickens and the crying <laughs> from the peacock. And so he said, okay guys, here's what you're gonna do. Peacock, why don't you try to lay some eggs? And you three hens, you go down to the side of the road and wave your feathers around and see if you can get anybody to stop. What a great idea. I know we will get all gussied up. Oh, that's lovely. I've got lots of pretty beads and I've got a tiara and we'll just go and it'll be such a nice day and we'll show that peacock who really brings the business around here. I just love this idea. Well, the next day they got gussied up. They got all of their shiny beads. Oh, will you look at that? I just feel lovely. And they got more beads. Isn't it great? I'm gonna put on my tiara. I got in the in the Miss Little Chicken Miss pageant and a feather boa. What do you think? Don't I look fabulous? And they went down to the side of the road and they began to strut their stuff. <laughs> And nobody stopped. Not a single car. They just went 
whizzing right past, zoom, right past them, zoom. And those chickens, nobody stopped. Well, meanwhile, down at the hen house, the peacock was just trying to get inside. He was so big and his tail feathers were so wide, he couldn't even get inside the hen house. And he squeezed and he sucked in his breath. And he squeezed and he squeezed until finally he made it into the hen house. Most of them. Most of his tail feathers were still outside the hen house. But he was mostly inside where it counts. And so he started to lay eggs. Well, he started to try to lay eggs. Oh, this is really hard. Not a single egg. No matter how hard he pushed, he could not get a single egg to come out. Well, meanwhile, Mr. and Mrs. Tucker, the farmers, were standing outside in the barnyard going, what, what on earth is happening here? Well, those chickens, they're down by the side of the road, just waving their feathers around. We need them in the hen house laying eggs. Well, honey, it don't matter because the peacocks in there not laying any eggs and nobody's stopping because there's no peacock to get them excited about stopping. We need that peacock down by the side of the road to bring us business so people will buy eggs. The peacock must have had a really good hearing because he overheard again. I do matter. I do matter. I'm important. I have a job to do. I have a role. Who I am is important. And he squeezes up back out of the hen house and he ran down the driveway down to the side of the road where he ran into the chickens. Well, I declare we certainly were wrong about you, Mr. Fancy Feathers. It seems that nobody wants to stop for a chicken wearing a feather boa. We better go back and start laying some eggs while you do this difficult work. That sounds like a great idea. So the peacock walked along the side of the road. And people came and stopped and took pictures and they bought eggs and milk and peaches and tomatoes and corn. And the hens stayed in the hen house and did what they were best at laying eggs. And the old hound dog snoozed on the porch. The end. I hope you liked this story and I will see you again next week. Bye.